am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. what we're going to talk about Harry and is William is King Charles the third or King Charles the third and William Prince William uh, softening to Harry uh, because of this uh, birthday message that apparently he got from both of them uh, now as to the Duke of Sussex that's the front facing the public facing message was there something more personal behind the scenes so that's what we'll talk about today and I hope you like the video if you like the video please do like the video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So yeah, the video is going to be today about Prince Harry. We're going to try to delve into um, this situation where he's gotten a message of, uh, on the Royal website, I think it is. Uh, happy birthday, Duke of Sussex. Let's see what the cards can tell us about that. Just random questions off the top of my head. And I want to mention too, listen, I'm, after this uh, video, uh, airs. Um, I will be out of the country for 30 days. Okay. I'm going to try to send some videos while I'm gone. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But if you don't hear from me for a while, that's what's going on. I'll be back uh, after October 23rd. So here we go on this video. Um, Prince Harry, what is going on with him? What's the deal? And actually, I guess the deal is really the question really should be what's going on with the royal family as it regards to Prince Harry. Maybe he's done something behind the scenes that has opened things up. Have the mortality of Char has the mortality of King Charles III uh, had something to do with this? Um, Kate Middleton has she had an influence on the king and her husband? Is this coming down from William? I mean, let's just try to find out what is the significance of this happy uh, birthday to the Duke. See if it has any significance at all. It may have none, but before we do any of that, let's have just a moment. You know, I do it all the time, which by the way, if I'm making uh, videos from uh, overseas, uh, you won't have this uh, prayer part. So do it yourself. Let's have a moment of meditation. Okay. Harry. Is this a thaw? That's what we want to know. Well, let's ask that first. Just that very simple question. Is this the beginnings of a thaw uh, from the uh, royal family towards Harry? Three cards. One, two, three. Is this the beginnings of some sort of a thaw between the emotions, the feelings, the cooperation of the royal family and Harry. So, seven of pentacles, seven, and you know, I don't, I guess this is from the point of view of the royal family. This is the beginning of a thought. So from the seven of pentacles, have I done enough? Pentacles are value, worth, money, probably value. And someone, someone is wondering, is what I have done, is it enough? Next card. Ah. So this is uh, the Nine of Swords. Swords, of course, the truth, justice, rules, and law. And the Nine of Swords is nightmares, represents nightmares, just, you know, torment. Um, and uh, that is very um, valid. This is a woman lying in bed, tormented by, you know, all of these issues, all of these uh, truths, these justice, these rules, this law, tormented by all of that. Is this Kate? Is this William? Now, this is William. Have I done enough? Is this Kate facing her mortality? Last card is uh, the chariot. Ugh, things coming on at a rapid pace. You know what? I believe there's a possibility that some of this may be driven by Kate uh, facing her mortality. William obviously thinking, have I done enough? And that the end is coming closer and closer for Charles and perhaps for um, Kate. Could be years off for either one of them, but it doesn't mean that they haven't been told, you know, this is your mortality. 
So we go on that premise that this is a, uh, an initiative of Kate's. Future queen of England should certainly have uh, some say in what's going on. I want to know, now let's go back to uh, King Charles. King Charles. No, I'm sorry. Let's, uh, let's uh, forget that. Kate. Is this an initiative from Kate? Is this an initiative from Princess Catherine? This softening, does this have something to do with the princess? Let's see. Three cards. This softening, is this from Catherine? Remember, the first draw was where's this coming from? And now we're going to see if we can validate that with Catherine. So, queen of value. Yeah, she is the real queen coming up with her value in hand. Ready to take, look, she's ready to dip her toe into a pool of emotion and compassion. Look at that. Could this be Catherine practicing her um, coming authority? Next card up. Ah, this is the uh, the Knight of Cups. This is William. He's carrying that chalice forward. Did this come from Catherine? And yes, it did. This is a great big uh, yes card. This is the one of Pentacles. Pentacles being value or money or worth. And yeah, this is an initiative of Catherine. We have to, we're just going to take these uh, as they come and move forward. So now, Catherine's initiative, obviously, logically, would have had to have started with her husband, wouldn't it? Wouldn't she be looking at her children and, and thinking about, what about their whole life, their relationships coming up for them in the future? What would make that easier for them? What would make that make more sense for them? Let's do six cards. No, I don't want to do that. I want to nail this down to Charles now. Well, no, let's go down the line. Let's go to William. So Catherine had to go to William. William, 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 William. Catherine had to go to William. Has, has Catherine broken through William's resolve to uh, stay separate from uh, this Harry thing? One, two, three. Has Catherine been uh, the one who's changed, if that's happened, to in convincing. Look, a great big offer of compassion. It is. This is a yes card. Yes. This is the page of swords. The page brings a message to the court. Very little value in the, in the eyes of the court. This is the uh, swords are truth and justice and rules and law. And this page, who in this case is representing Catherine, maybe and could be also William, with the message from Catherine. Is this what she sent her, her prince out to thaw? And the last card, yes, it is. A double, a double um, verification that, yeah, she has moved William. Okay. I've got a message on my phone that I need to look at and see what it is because I'm expecting um, some stuff here from, from uh, no, nothing important. Okay, so is, so now we got William, we got Catherine, and we've got William on board according to the reading, which means nothing, right? So, but let's move on and say, so what about the king? Has now William taken this to his dad? Has William now taken this to his dad? If this is how this thaw began, it's probably the last place any of us would have thought it would originate. So three cards, has, is this now what William has taken to the king? Because obviously it has to go in that direction. Ah, 
temperance. Williams has, William, through Catherine, or from Catherine, has brought the message of temperance, compassion, water. Okay? Uh, the problem with all of this is being chained to lesser intention. Ego. Okay? The Look at this. The outcome of this is anyone's guess. It's a wheel of fortune. But, you know, I always like to say that regarding the wheel of fortune, it's always turning in a positive direction. That doesn't mean that it does come to a difficult point where the devil is kind of trying to influence the, the workings of that wheel. But then it always comes back. And so the wheel of fortune is always turning in a positive direction for one reason or another. Now, we not may not recognize that positive direction. It may, we, we're saying, you know, oh, bring me lots of wealth and money, but it may be that we get some other satisfaction. So in this case, um, it's that the wheels of fortune are turning for the king and for Catherine. Wow. So this has, is why this has been something of an influence on the king. Now, let's do a, uh, we'll start with a dyadic cross, six cards, and if it looks uh, promising, we'll go to a full Celtic cross, another four cards, but we'll do them in two parts, six cards, that may be the end of it, and uh, then perhaps another four cards for a better definition of what's going on. Let's do one more shuffle. Um, on this whole situation, more shuffles, on this whole situation with Harry uh, and the royal family, is this the beginning of some sort of a, a permanent thaw? Is this the beginning of a permanent thaw? Okay, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. What none of us ever know when our time is up. Catherine certainly never expected a warning this uh, young in her life, in her 40s. A signifier card, broken heart. Of course, a signifier, all of this is about hurt feelings, broken hearts, okay? For whatever reasons, the uh, king, William, felt crushed. Harry feels crushed. For, for, for whatever the reasons, you can say who caused it, whose fault is it, doesn't matter. The, what does matter is that the, the center of, the, of this is broken hearts, hurt feeling, broken promises. The challenge to that is this page of wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. Page, very uh, light member of the royal family, but the one that brings a message forward for consideration. And that's just what we just about got finished saying. So the challenge to these broken hearts is this message, because often when we're our feelings are hurt, we're rebellious and we're not often receptive to weak messages coming in. But the basis of all of this then is the Five of Cups and the Five of Cups, again, Cups, emotion, compassion. Five of Cups is, you know, crying over spilt milk and not realizing you've got a couple of things left. Look at this. This is, this is fate. This is uh, King Charles, Prince William, Princess Catherine. This is uh, Harry and this is Meghan. Turning crying over what you've lost and not realizing you've still got some nourishment back here to take from. Even if it's just in healing that hurt. In the past of this, ah, is a new journey. So this is the full card representing a new journey. So in the past of this is new beginning, starting over, starting off on a, on a, on a trek of, of whatever it might be, uh, knowledge, uh, new uh, situations in your life. Everything has started over. The king has started over. William is about to start over in his new role. Um, the uh, Duke and Duchess of the Sussex have started over. All of that's in the past. What's in the past, leave it in the past. Let's move forward. And the sky of this, look at that, happy family. Ten of Cups is happy family, okay? And you see it right here displayed in this card. You've got a couple here. You've got children dancing in the background. You've got wanting to show your uh, emotional uh, trophies. Yeah, happy family is what's the aim of this, to bring everything back together. And the likely outcome is the seven of cups. Oh, this is not good, because and this doesn't answer completely. So this is illusion and delusion, and it's an emotional situation. So the likely outcome of this is still uh, manipulating uh, public opinion. Interesting. So what 
more can the cards tell us about this situation, this perhaps thaw with Harry and the royal family, or if you want to say vice versa, the royal family and Harry. Um, the very essence of that question, look at this, is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords, and here, here are the Four of Swords in case you don't see them right away. One is right here, laying across the lap of this uh, resting uh, uh, person, and the others are hanging up here. And the Four of Swords is telling us, be careful before you get up and wake up to your next move because you could hurt yourself, although you've got a little bit of protection here. So, yeah, so this is what is at the heart of this issue, uh, being careful. And this could looks like someone, honestly, on their deathbed, maybe praying for deliverance. The um, environment that that's in, all of the issues, wands, eight of wands, wands are action plans, forward movement, all of the issues that have to be dealt with. And you know what, sometimes when you're dealt a big bag of issues, there's a lot of them that you can knock off to the side that aren't so important, maybe don't need to be dealt with at all, or can be dealt with later. But the main one, as represented by these heavier issues right here, see these are very thin little uh, stakes, uh, wands uh, in, in a lot of instances, but there's only really three, there's only really three uh, substantial ones. This very, this is the very fattest, the very biggest of those issues. That's the king. This is the second one. This is William, and then this is uh, the third one. I'm going to guess this could be uh, Princess Catherine. So that's the environment that it's in. All these issues pared down to three that really matter, and and the others just let land. Uh, the hopes and the fears for all of this is victory. The hopes for this is a planning. Uh, uh, these are wands, six of wands, action plans, forward movement. The hopes for this is moving forward. Okay, a victory in moving this family forward. And then the final uh, outcome is this um, Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is someone fighting for those emotional victories. Yeah, I think all of this uh, is uh, born from Catherine to her husband, to the king, sort out the issues, find out what's really important and focus on that. That's what I think. And that's what caused this slight thaw in that royal family and the birthday greetings for the Duke of Sussex. Hey, I'm gonna show you the cards now, hang on a minute. So Golden Universal Tarot, these are great cards. This is another Los Scarabio. Uh, like I say, it must be a sweatshop of let's make tarot cards back at that place. Um, the guidebook is just your typical couple languages, uh, not too tiny to read, which is what I'm concerned with, but nothing, <coughs> um, you know, astounding uh, revealed in that. But the cards are really great, and of course, what's what's neat about them is that they're kind of gilded. You know what? Let me turn off the main light that I've got here in the room because I think. It sheds a little uh, too much uh, shine on these cards. But uh, you can see that they're pretty much the typical Rider Waite depictions, just uh, gilded and golded up and uh, really make them interesting uh, to look at. And after all, if you're looking at tarot cards every day, uh, no matter why, whether you're looking at readings or whether you're doing the readings, you know, if you can shake it up with something that's a little interesting to look at, I think that's great. And of course, like I always say, I lay them out like this for two reasons. One, it's an interesting way to get your cards mixed up and shuffled. And if you're working with someone else, you can let them do this and kind of get their energy in the cards. And But the most important reason for me is because when I was just watching uh, the videos, I like to see uh, what the cards look like. Um, and you never got the chance to do that. So here they are, Golden Universal Tarot, uh, Los Scarabio. Love these cards.